This is a review of the Mindscope Neon Glow Twister Tracks 360. And I've got it all set up. Um, it comes with um, 232 pieces. Uh, most of those are little tracks. Um, they're pre put together in sections, so not to be alarmed that you have to put all 100, 220 pieces of the track together. They come in um, solid color um, sections. Also comes with an orange car and a green car. And on the bottom of the car, there is a screw that you need to unscrew to put the batteries in, which I think is safe for um, smaller kids. And then on the top of the car, there's a power button. Um, there's also um, a little safety label before you put the batteries in saying, do not get this close to your hair. It will tangle in your hair and it will hurt if it pulls. So be sure that you're keeping um, a good eye on the smaller kids that are using this just for safety so they don't hurt themselves. Right on the top is an uh, on and off button. You just press it. And these cars have a pulsing light. I ordered another set of these. Um, I think it might have been the earlier model. It didn't have the pulsing lights. So I'm excited about that. Um, also, there's a loop in this set, which there wasn't in the previous version. So I really like this set um, a lot better than the other one. So let me show you how well it works. Um, these wheels have little grippies on them that help hold it while it's doing the 360 loop, which I really like. It is a little bit slower going through that loop, but at least the car doesn't fall off at all. And we have a little friend, her name is Bella, and uh, apparently she wants to test it out as well. So let me give it a try. Watch out, Bella. So that's what I was talking about as far as it, you know, grabbing on there. And it's got the tail lights that help with the glowing feature at night. I think kids are going to love this. I know the earlier sets, we had um, some younger kids over and they just had a ball with it. They did not want to leave. After this one gets in the loop, I'm gonna add the other car to it. Um, the only thing that I, I found that I don't like very much is that the cars actually catch up to each other. So, you know, sometimes you have to take them off and let that gap build a little bit. And I think it's because they go slower in the loop and that's why they catch up to each other. So yeah, we really, really like it. This is a lot of fun and I absolutely recommend this. I think it's a great track for smaller kids. All right, thanks for watching.